Thank you so much for joining us for our anime update of spring 2020. Thank you for being so patient with me. I, YouTube is not my forte. And uh, yeah, we'll get right along on that. But we're going to get right into anime because anime never stops. So we're going to break down our new anime for the season. We're also going to revisit anime that I haven't watched yet, but it's not so new. And we're going to jump right into it. So I haven't read the webtoon for Tower of God, but guess who has? Mango. And he hasn't stopped mentioning it for the past five years. So when I found out that it was coming out as an anime, I said, well, let's see what the hell this is about. So I loaded it up and in the first five minutes, I had one word ready, simp. And it's like this extraordinary level of simp but it's beautifully animated, the world building is immaculate, and the characters are all interesting. Look at this boy right here. Look at him. He's huge. He's amazing. I love him. But the premise of Tower of God, as far as I'm understanding is, this boy, Bam, yes, that's his name, Bam, is following his friend Rachel up this tower because she wants to see the stars, which I apparently can't see them. But she wants to see the stars and he's following her because his pure motivation is that he thinks he belongs to her. Well, it, it doesn't get more real than that. Okay, so Gleepner is definitely one of those anime that's gonna get you on a watch list. But don't worry, it has this slimy, oily grip that keeps you coming back and that's the best way that I can describe it but it's good it's good the, the animation's really cool it has this cool thing with motion that I think a lot of people will appreciate it's it's just it just makes you feel it when, when you, you feel that but the plot behind this is that this young boy Shuichi yes this one it, it, he, he turns into a mascot and no, I don't know why he turns into a mascot, but his friend, Cl and I'm using the word friend very loosely, but his friend Claire is, is itching to find out. So they find all of these different monsters in their community as they try to uncover the mystery behind these gold coins. And yeah, it's some, it's some yokai shit, but let me know how you feel about it. All right, moving on to our more lighthearted anime. Love is War season two is out. I don't really have any like real critiques for this. It's just hilarious. It really just, in, in any anime list, it just makes it better. It's like salt on a good steak. So yeah, definitely watch it. I love seeing these two fight for each other's love. If you haven't seen it, you have so much to watch. Go to season one. Next up is Listeners. Now, this story starts off with a boy named Echo, who is pretty tech savvy, and he finds a girl that he later names Mew, and conveniently, she doesn't remember anything about herself, but she knows that she's a player. And conveniently, Echo builds mechs, which is what players use to fight these weird ghost mice thing called Earless. And apparently this is set in a world where music does not exist. Now, did I get that feel? Did it feel like that when I was watching it? No, they felt like they were just in some generic dystopian wasteland. And honestly, from my experience over these past three episodes, I just don't really feel connected to the world. It's, it's not as interesting as I'd like it to be. Now, when you watch the intro, it seems like there's so much to get into. There's so many people to meet. There's so much happening. But then you get into the episode, and it's just like, ah, uh, okay. I mean, Mango literally fell asleep on this, so that's, that's probably the best rating I can give it. But watch them, and let me know how you feel about it. Oh, look, guys. It's another isekai, and it's called The Eighth Sun. Are you kidding me? Now, of course, in true isekai fashion, this 25-year-old man, in the middle of making his beef dinner, suddenly wakes up as an 8-year-old in a poor noble's home. 
He finds out later that not only are they poor, but he also has seven brothers ahead of him in the succession. So he's definitely not getting a penny. Despite all of these setbacks, he is determined to revitalize the withered infrastructure of his noble family. He tries to learn more about the world around him and finds that he may have an aptitude for magic. But of course, his family's no help because they don't even know how to read. So he finds a strange man in the woods who's willing to teach him more about magic. And then he's well on his way to revitalize his family name. And maybe get some money on the side. Another contender for this spring season is Wave Listen to Me. It's about a woman named Minari Koda who finds herself on the radio and it changes her life in the most unexpected way. It has some really relatable moments that had me cracking up, but it is a little slower than most anime that I've been watching, but I like it. If you're into the slice of life genre, this is definitely for you. And I think I relate because she is loud, I'm loud, and loud people should stick together. So now that we're done with all the new stuff, let me get into the old stuff. I've been watching Keep Your Hands Off of Isaacin, No Guns Life, Hina Matsuri, and I think it was Outbreak Company. I don't know how I miss these anime. Outbreak Company does kind of give me Konosuba vibes, but it's not quite there, but it's in a good way. Like it's still different. And then No Guns Life has like that cool kind of mystery, but it's still fun, kind of. It's not too heavy, not some I'm Batman vibes or anything like that. And Hinamatsuri and Isaacin are just good on their own. I love Isaacin. It's more of a slice of life type thing, but it teaches you a lot about how anime is made, and I appreciate that. Now, anime that I want to try, I've been meaning to try Ore no Yubi, Shokugeki no Soma, season four. I'm not sure about that one. Kimetsu no Yaiba, when the movie comes out. It is gonna be immaculate. I can't wait. And id invaded. Now, let me know if some of these are kind of like, wait, Chelsea, please stop. Don't do this to yourself. But I'm very excited for that list. So how did you feel about my list? Now is the time to let me know if I'm watching trash anime or if you really liked what I put out there. Am I missing something? How did you feel about a certain character? I know, a lot of them are weird. Now is the time to leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that I was able to share my anime update with you. Hopefully I can do this in another month or so. But yeah, definitely come back through. Follow me on Twitch. Twitter, Instagram, and we have a Discord. So you have plenty of places to come and bug me about my anime choices. Thank you so much. I'm Chelsea Bites, and I can't wait to catch you on the next one.